On his first day in office, Donald Trump vowed to dismantle electric vehicle mandates, claiming it would rescue the U.S. auto industry and save American consumers money. He sharply criticized the leadership of the U.S. United Auto Workers, promising to rejuvenate the nation's manufacturing sector. And I will end the electric vehicle mandate on day one, thereby saving the U.S. auto industry from complete obliteration, which is happening right now, and saving U.S. customers thousands and thousands of dollars per car. And right now, as we speak, large factories just started are being built across the border in Mexico. So with all the other things happening on our border, and they're being built by China to make cars and to sell them into our country. No tax, no anything. The United Auto Workers ought to be ashamed for allowing this to happen. And the leader of the United Auto Workers should be fired immediately. And every single auto worker, union and non-union, should be voting for Donald Trump because we're going to bring back car manufacturing and we're going to bring it back fast. Donald Trump's promise to eliminate electric vehicle mandates and reinvigorate the automobile manufacturing industry underscores his commitment to economic nationalism and self-sufficiency. He fiercely denounced factories and Chinese-made cars being built in Mexico, tapping into conservative distrust of globalization. These policies resonate deeply with the public, who favor initiatives that benefit American workers and businesses over foreign competition. By holding the United Auto Workers leadership accountable, Trump appeals to conservative values of responsibility and meritocracy. Many believe that leaders should be accountable for their actions and decisions.